Hello, this is Aaron Staccato. And this is Pronto Billingsley. And we're coming to you from WZZM. What's am? Channel 3 News. Just then, after months and months and months and months and months of waiting, we have an official post from Queen City Battle of the Bands stating that they will not be having an annual Battle of the Bands in Charlotte, North Carolina. I know you fucking lying. First, we have Honda Battle of the Bands flake on us. Now, these rascals? That's not it. They also stated that they will be changing the name to National Battle of the Bands. You must be kidding me. I'm not. You must be kidding me. And they also stated that they will be having it in Houston, Texas at the NRG Stadium the weekend of August 30th. 2019. Look here, and look, if they're going to have it in Houston, H time, why would they not give it the name, the Dirty Sprite Battle with the Biz? It makes no sense to me, Aaron. What can we do about this situation? I, you know what? Good point, but you know what? I, I can't tell you too much. That's all Ooh. the post said. I can't really Ooh. tell you. Ooh. Ooh. Wait a minute. Wait one goddamn minute. Hey, I, I gotta tell you, that did not come out of surprise to me <laughs> by any means. It did not, did not. I, but I do appreciate you confirming that. I kind of knew, but the confirmation was everything. I do appreciate that. I definitely do. All right, all right. Okay, just got word in, guys. I do apologize. Tell me. I need to know. Hey, tell me. Baby, you just said the same exact thing. Hang up. I, you definitely said the same exact thing. I appreciate it, but we are on live right now. We are on live right now. <laughs> Fucker. I just got word in, Aaron, that 337 band... <laughs> For the Summer Jam Battle of the Bands 2018, unleashed the wrong dragon guy. You telling me they unleashed the wrong dragon? Indeed, man. They indeed unleashed the wrong dragon. You know what? I'm not even surprised. It did not sound like anything like the dragon I'm used to that Cisco unleashed in 1999. That is that is real. I definitely was a big fan of Drew Hill and Cisco. Yes. Definitely, but it kind of still, for some reason, kind of still bring me back to my childhood. I can't pin. You know, it actually remind me of the PBS Kids hit show that was actually, I believe, in 1999. Also, Dragon Tail. You, I, you. Oh my I God! Love that show too. Yes, it kind of. It was a little happy, a little bit, and being that they had those Baja Blashish looking colored shirts on, it kind of remind me of Or. Yes, it, it, <laughs> I see where you're going there, but you know what? If they plan on unleashing. Any dragon, anytime soon, they mm -hmm. have a battle of the bands on the 30th. Oh, yes, that's which is in like a week or so. Mm -hmm. They need to get that dragon fiasco situated. I agree. Well, <laughs> speaking of summer band jam, mm -hmm. <laughs> it was brought to our attention that it was too many niggas on the field recording band footage, mm -hmm. and it was frustrating to the people that. That's known to do band media, mm. and I quietly understand that. You know what? Mm -hmm. I, I, what, what? Where did you get this information from? I got it. You know where I got it from? I don't. I got footage. Let's just watch the footage. Our niche band, our niche is not big enough for thirty to fifty people to eat at one time. Mm -hmm. It's not. You may think it is, but it's not. It's not at all. Oh wow! Oh wow! Aaron, Aaron, what, what, what do you get from that? Well, I, just that little bit of footage. I, I think he's trying to say this. It's, it's, it's not that. It's not that much you can do in in the band media world. Mm -hmm. 
that everybody else is already doing, that's a, that's established, that's already doing. Mm. But I, I just to shine some light on you guys, you know, if you inspired, you know, band media teams, mm. try to, you know, venture out in the other regions like MEAC, you know, C I double A, get mm-hmm. some of these bands some attention, you know. Diversify a just, little bit. Yeah, yeah just to diversify a little bit mm. so everybody can see different bands. Nobody just wanna be, you know, showing light on the same band event. That's I don't look at it like that. How all. you look at it, Pato? You want my honest opinion? I really do. You want my honest I really do. opinion yes. here, Aaron. Well, honestly, what I think he's trying to say is, if you don't have 2,500 plus subscribers, you need to go and sit your ass down. <laughs> you need to go ahead and sit your motherfucking ass down. Switching gears here. <laughs> Crank fest. I haven't heard that name in a sure while. I haven't heard that. Mm. They made a post recently for the first time in about nearly... 13 months. 13 months. It haven't been that long. What do you think the post said? Well, Pronto, I, I can't tell you. You tell me. They actually made a post. It was a picture. And it stated loading. Now, it was just a simple black and white picture that said loading. But I think that's a loaded post. It definitely is a loaded post. I think they were just trying to tell us that they're not going to leave us hanging like Queen City Battle of the Bands or, you know, Honda Battle of the Bands, that mm-hmm. they in the midst of working things out. Everything is going as, you know, as planned. It's just mm-hmm. in the process. We're in the process mm-hmm. of getting things done. Well, but we're still going to have our luxurious band event. Well, you know, Aaron, I honestly hope that is exactly what they're saying because our little band hearts are a little torn at this moment. I know uh, mine is really torn to pieces. Because I was really looking forward to that Queen City, Dirty Sprite, Ace Time. You know how we get that. Oh, shit. I was really looking forward to that. You know, so I hope they're loading up a new heart for us that everyone else looked to tore down of us. You know, they tore my little heart down. I hope they're loading up a new one for me here. But hey, guys, I think that's all we actually have for the night on WZZM. What's am? Channel 3 News. Ooh, that motherfucker.